What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in uh, Four Island, and uh, now it is time to go to Five Island. In the last episode, we went into the Icefall Cave, met our girlfriend Lorelai, defended her honor, you know, saved the Pokemon in the Icefall Cave and all that stuff, and uh, yeah. Apparently, shit's going down because in Five Island, uh, you're gonna find Team Rocket over there. Now, off screen, I did capture uh, some of the rare Pokemon that, that are in uh, the Icefall Cave. Uh, apparently, there's a Sneasel in there, and I did capture that one. I, I didn't even know that. I've been playing this game for quite some time, and yeah, didn't even know that Sneasel was a part of that, part of that cave right there. So. Now, we're going to be going into the Five Island right here, and uh, there's going to be a few things that that's going to be going on. Now, there's two portions to this place right here. There's a northern section and a southern section. We're going to go straight to the southern section first, and then after that, we'll make our way up to the northern section and explore the stuff down or up there. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, it's been getting busier around these parts lately. I haven't been catching uh, many good fish lately either. Hmm. Okay. Now, what he's talking about is uh, this area right here, the Five Isle Meadow. And uh, before we do anything, let's just go ahead and take a look at places and all that stuff. Um, uh, this is the wifey of that fisherman right here. Don't worry about buying anything for dinner tonight. That's what my husband said when he went off fishing today. I'm not sure if you can count on him to live up to that promise. Wow. Wow. Okay, so not a lot of faith right there for, for her. Okay, or, yeah, and so... Let's talk. Oh, and it stinks. I wanted to play in the meadow, but they put up a weird building on it, and I can't play there anymore. Okay, well, that's something right there. And what does it say? The Chrono Island, where time goes. I would assume that's where time goes. And, uh, let's see. What does this guy have to say? The meadow has belonged to our family in four generations. I should have had a giant mount, or I should have had a giant mansion built on it. It would have been preferable to having those thugs run it the wild it down or whatever, whatever it says. I don't even know. Can't read. And uh, let's see, is there anything interesting in the Pokemon Center? There might be something. I don't know. Let's see. Talk to this lady. You're on the quest to catch every single Pokemon kind, or how oh, incredible? Please tell me if you catch a strong one. If I did, I will. I will. I captured some legendary birds, and uh, well. We're going to be going into the meadow, and yeah, you will be able to find some interesting Pokemon right there. Um, Sentrent. Uh, let's see, Sentrent. Yes, you'll be able to find Sentrents, Hoppips. Uh, I think those are the two Johto Pokemon you can find right here. I think, yeah, two Johto Pokemon. And, of course, in the last episode, I also mentioned that I, I have four Pokemon that I probably used in the past uh, to take the place of four other Pokemon that I've had. Might be using them later on, you know, for our adventure right here. Now, as you can see, I'm catching every Pokemon I see right here. Eventually, we're going to be using an all-star team for the final uh, Pokemon League battle right here. And as you can see, we caught ourselves a Sentret. No, it's not going to be part of our team. Trust me, guys. Sentret, not that great. It is the Scout Pokemon, a very cautious Pokemon. It raises itself using its tail to get a better view of, this, of its surroundings. That's nice. Okay, so... I've already got you. Let us move on right here. Who is next? Again, I should have gotten the item finder before I came here. And uh, would you look at that? We're going to be running into some Team Rocket thugs. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and put Earthquake at the, at the front because I kind of want to evolve them too. So let's see what you got. This area is strictly off limits. Out, out. Okay. No question, no exclamation point or anything like that. So. Here we go again. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Radita. And here's my Earthquake. Puny. But it's whatever. So let's go straight to... Oh, wait, why did I go... Oh, crap. <laughs> crap on a Crapsicle stick, and here comes that Super Fang. Oh, oh not that effective. Okay. <laughs> Radita's still a little bitch. So let's go to Godzilla Godzilla. Okay, what's up, Jajula? Okay, focus that, focus that energy. It's all right. Here's that Dragon Claw. Yeah, buddy. Dragon, Dragon Claw for the win for the Pokemon that's not really a dragon. And uh, well, Fig Hammer X grows to level 18, and uh, well, he's coming out with the Grimer. Let's see. You know what? Earthquake needs it. Earthquake. 
Alrighty. Let's see. It's faster than grammar, right? I could I could defeat it like that. So let's see. Let's try a dig attack. Yeah, buddy. Level 22 versus 48. Let's see what happens. Oh crap. So it's gonna be doing that. Of course, I'm gonna be all pissed off and everything. So let's see. Come on, dig attack. Oh damn. It, it takes a little bit. And here's that sludge bomb. Oh crud. So yeah, I was very optimistic. Super optimistic. I probably should have trained up my Pokemon just a little bit more, but whatever. Let's go with Leah. Let's get this. Okay, here we go. Thunderbolt. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes. There's that Thunderbolt. And it's coming with an acid armor, which, of course, will, will increase his defense. And, uh, well, Thunderbolt again. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. For the win. Grammar can go suck out on it. There we go. And, uh, well, he's coming out with a muck, so let's go straight to Godzilla Godzilla. Alrighty. Alright, alright. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's see what happens right here. Here's the muck. Muck, eat this flamethrower right here. Alrighty. Get that. Get that. Come on! Alrighty, here we go again with another flamethrower for the win. Alrighty. And there we go. Pit Camera X growing levels like crazy. Well, not like crazy, but it's just whatever. Okay, so that is that. And, uh, well, I guess I should be reviving my Pokemon here. Uh, what's the end game for this one? Yes, I'm trying to... Well, I'm trying to get these Pokemon all leveled up. Eventually, I'm going to use some of these Pokemon that I'm using for the Elite Four. I don't know. It, eventually, it'll happen. Let's see. It's going to be like my Pokemon Platinum uh, walkthrough where I just do the same thing right there. So, let's go right here. Earthquake get some points. And Sir Razor get some points, too. Okay. And uh, let's continue on our adventure right here. And, of course, we're going to be attacked by another Pokemon right here. It's a Pidgey. Level 44. That's scary right there, so we're going to be running away. Of course, Earthquake is a little faster, which is good. So let's cut this thing down. That way we don't get attacked by any other Pokemon right here. And, uh... Okay, so there's a Team Rocket member right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's do this quick right here. Let's go with Godzilla and destroy everybody. So what's up? You'd be wasting time and you, even if you were uh, to get by me. Okay, well... Let's get by you. Here we go. Team Rocket Grunt, the female. I think this is like one of the first females we're battling in quite some time. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, you intimidate me, but yet the flamethrower will still destroy you. There we go. Flamethrower for the win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And uh, coming out with a gloom, so I'm going to stick by right here. Alright, let's see what we got. Flamethrower again. Okay. Flamethrower does it. Gloom is glooming. And everything's going. And that's right. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. And Pig Hammer X grows to level 20. We're getting closer and closer. So let's just continue on right here with Godzilla. And uh, here we go. Flamethrower again. Alrighty. Alrighty, look at that. No more gloom. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and look at that. Oh, that makes me furious! It does, it should. It should make you furious. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, uh, well, let's see. I believe you can surf right here, but yes, we're gonna get attacked by another Pokemon. And it's another Sentret! Okay, so that shouldn't be a problem for us, you know, Sentret. Not that scary. It's a little fluffy Pokemon right there, so here we go. Water or surf this thing. Surf and turf. And uh, let's see, I think yeah, you'll be able to find an item right here, which is the PP up. Of course, it's Pokemon Viagra and all that stuff. So we're gonna be moving on forward right here. And uh, well, there's gonna be something else waiting for us. And it's another Pokemon. And uh, it's another Sentry. God dang it. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and uh, battle all these trainers. This guy's gonna be like, There's nothing past here except our warehouse. 
So what brings you here? Well, apparently I disbanded you quite a while ago. Why are you guys back? That's what I want to know. So here it is. Team Rocket Grunt coughing coming out. Yeah. Oh yeah? Flamethrower attack. That's right. Now, I could be using the speed button for this one, but it's a regular game, guys. Don't want to do that to you. It's only for Pokemon Liquid Crystal, since I kind of... I was doing a lot of questionable mistakes right there and all that stuff. Really don't care. <laughs> there we go. Learning Focus Energy, so... Let's go. Take away Fury Swipes, which is good. Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, let's see. Coming out with the Weezing, so let's just take care of business right now. Getting this slash attack right here. Here we go, slash attack. Okay, forgot about its physical defense. Forgot about that, and here we go, flamethrower. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, and look at that. Godzilla grows to level 65. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, okay, so that does it right there. Let's see what he has to say. You're wanting to know what's inside those warehouse? It's better for you. Uh, it's better you didn't know. You For your own sake, I mean. And uh, let's see, there's no hidden item right there. So you go in here, you entered one password. Gold, Goldie need log. Another password is needed for the door. So we're going to have to work our way for another password, which kind of sucks. Now, if we cross the, ri or the lake or now the ocean right here, you will be able to find more Pokemon trainers, specifically bird type trainers. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be going into the Memorial Pillar and we're going to be battling everybody here because they have a uh, flying type Pokemon. Okay. Bring it. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Alrighty. So here we go. Aaliyah. Destroy them with Thunderbolt. Yeah, buddy. Thunderbolt for the win again. Okay. And then this Pidgey. Done. Done and done. And uh, Big Hammer. Growing levels. So eventually we're going to see an evolution here. I don't think switch training would be actually appropriate for this one. We're just trying to get through get through this whole uh, islands thing. Complete it all. And then capture the last two uh, legendary Pokemon. Um, I will be saving the whole Mewtwo thing for... I don't know, probably like a little later on, maybe do it in the same episode I capture the roaming Pokemon that eventually we're going to run into somewhere. And, uh, well, let's see, I think there's a hidden item right there. Yes, we found ourselves a Raspberry! And, uh, well, nothing right there. But we're going to be ca getting attacked by a Pokemon. And would you look at that, we found ourselves a Hopip! Look at that. I'm going to capture it. So let's go straight for the Ultra Balls right here. Okay, okay. Here we go, Ultra Ball, stay in there, stay in the freaking ball. That's right, that is... That is how you do it. Okay, alrighty. And as you can see here, it is the Cottonweed Pokemon. To keep from being blown away by the wind, they gather in clusters. They do enjoy gentle breezes though. Oh, okay, it's a pretty nice Pokemon. It's nice and all that stuff. So, I am not nicknaming this Pokemon. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna walk away. And, uh, well, before I can walk away, this guy right here is like, I'm the middle kid of the Bird Brothers. The best thing about birds, it has to be with the wings. Okay. Okay, let's see. The Bird Brothers. And here we have Chaz coming with his Spearow. So, let's go straight for a Thunderbolt right here. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. Alright, alright, alright. Look at that. Okay, so that is right there. And, uh, well, let's see. He's going to be coming out with a few so I'm just going to destroy them all with just a Leah. Okay, here we go. Thunderbolt. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Fero is no more. Although, I probably should bring back Tornado. I don't know. I kind of should. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about it. Because it was a Pokemon that I was using for quite some time right here. And, uh, well, let's see. I think there's one more berry right here. Yes, we found a berry. A Citra berry right here. And, god dang it. 
I almost got I almost I almost got off scot free right here. Okay, so let's move on. Don't want to be attacked by anybody else. There we go. We found ourselves a blueberry. And uh, here is the last brother, the youngest of the bird brothers. The best thing about birds, it has to be it has to be the down the down. The, what the hell? Is that even a part? I don't even know. Don't know anything about birds. So here he comes out with hoo hoo. Oh wow, you can find hoo hoo here. Can you? I don't know. I'm gonna thunderbolt it. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna thunderbolt the crap out of it. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it right there. And uh, well, he's gonna he's gonna be coming out with a knockout. So I'm gonna just stay put right here. I think I want to use thunder right here. Let's go. Oh damn it! God dang it! Let's get it. Thunder. There we go. And Noctowl has almost defeated. God dang it! But it's paralyzed. It's paralyzed. It's that's good news right there. Okay, so you missed. So here we go. A thunderbolt for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. So that is that, and, uh, well, Harold has been defeated. He's like, down is co so comfy, it makes me drowsy. I still don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Really don't know. Okay, so let's just move on right here, and, uh, well, let's see what we can find right here. Ah, okay, so this is, I think, the, the, oh, this is a memorial. Okay, so let's see. You'll be able to find two things right here. Hold on just a sec. Uh, this right here, you'll find a metal coat. I think in this game, you'll be able to get two metal coats. I think that is true. And if you talk to this guy, Scrub Scrub. Hello, your Pokemon look healthy. This is where I buried my Onyx. It's called the Tecton... Tecton... Or Tectonix? Uh, it's called the Tectonix. Here lies Tectonix. It's engraved on a boulder. There's a lemonade placed as an offering in front of the grave. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Celadon City to get a lemonade. I don't have a lemonade here with me, so I'll be right back, and then I'm going to show you guys what would happen if you give this, or if you put a lemonade right here. So I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in the Tectonic or Tectonics uh, Memorial, whatever. And I got myself a lemonade from Celadon City. So now, once you get over here, here lies Tectonics is graved on the boulder. There is a lemonade place as an offering in front of the grave. Would you like to leave another lemonade as an offering? And I will say yes. Place the can of lemonade in front of the grave. And the trainer's like, thank you. That was my Tecton or my Tectonics's favorite drink. I don't even know you, but your act of kindness, it's uplifted me a little. Can you please take this uh, as uh, my thanks? And we get ourselves the TM42, which is facade. And of course he's going to be saying, please be good to your Pokemon too. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there for what you can get if you leave an offering right there. So now, the next uh, thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be going north of F uh, Five Island because there's going to be a few things that you'll be able to find there. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going north and uh, we will be exploring just a little bit more. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.